want you to love me, I want you to need me. Uh, when I this face is feed uh, I gotta get back to the hood. I remember when I was the needy. Uh, clean me up, clean me up. squeaky. Uh, she fell in love, fell in love. Deeply. deeply. Sleepy. Uh, they like what I say, they repeat me. Hey, hey, yeah, hey. look. Uh, all this money I be spending on VVs. Huh. That's why you got some of it. emerging from their tunnel it was loud it's still loud we're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with the Philadelphia Eagles hello again everyone I'm Brandon Gordon joined as always by Charles Davis and Charles you take a look at this Cowboy team entering play they were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Eagles. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. They were losers their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes it actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together your team, the us-against-the-world mentality. Let's see if they can use it and get a victory. for the first time with Tony Pollard. 
And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Coming up on second and seven. And there'll be a break in the action here because Prescott is going to use the timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Second down and seven. Pollard going to try the right side. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. They'll run for it with Pollard. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm not so sure I would have made this call. I'm not so sure I would have said, yeah, let's go ahead and get this one, especially at this point of the game. But give him credit. He had a feeling and carried it through. Yeah, that's one where you think, okay, if you're down two minutes left, the ball's near midfield, you go for it. But at this stage, at that part of the field, but like you said, it worked. That was pretty light on his feet, spinning forward and picking up nine. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady game. On second down, it's Pollard. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. How about the job there on the outside? Shed the wide receiver and was able to make the tackle on the perimeter. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And to the 49-yard line, but no further. And obviously, he is well short of the first. It'll be a gain of eight, but it also lead to a fourth down. What well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. Fourth down, Prescott. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. How about them biting off 15 yards there on the fourth down attempt and keeping the drive alive? And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Now a give right side. Collar. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. 
Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. And oftentimes, we think about statement drives in the second halves of games, especially in the fourth quarter. But here, it's happening early. A definite statement. They've held on to the ball for a healthy portion this first quarter already. And now after that completion, they're set up first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. They'll get four yards of the carry there, and we will get to the end of the first quarter of play. We're scoreless after one. Pollard again, and he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Tony Pollard, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Cowboys take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. It certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Touchdown at Zerline. He'll kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. So here come the Eagles for their initial possession of the game. They're led out of the field by their big mobile quarterback. He can throw it, he can run it, Colin Kaepernick. And I'll bet he's talking to his guys about resisting the temptation to try and turn this into an up-and-down game, almost like basketball, where both teams press and one team gets an advantage, our team's trying to run with them, and they're just not equipped for it. Doesn't matter whether you're equipped or not, just settle in, get calm before you go for the big strikes. Kaepernick now on first down. All right, rifles one, and that's gonna be intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Jalen Smith. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. We thought this defense would be opportunistic, and they were. Here, you're already up. Now you got a two-touchdown lead. I tell you, going out there on defense, did they have a little bit of extra momentum with a score already on the board? Oh, without a doubt. That already felt good to them. They took it and used it and obviously put up another one. But here's the thing now. Some defense coordinators might want to pull their guys back a little bit because they don't want them to make mistakes because they're too over ramp. Others say, I got two touchdown lead. Go get them, guys. They'll be even more aggressive. Zerline connects on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. Six, they'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. From the six. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. And they gave up the pick six, and now they'll be looking to right the ship here. Now, as a quarterback, are you a little more cautious this go around? You should be, just because after what you gave up. But you can't be so cautious as to just really take things in, and now you're not going to play loose enough to give your team a chance to score. But you still have to be careful, because those defensive guys, I know the reputation defense guys can't catch. 
all evidence to the contrary on that last possession, though. <laughs> and that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. Jalen Rager was the intended receiver, but now it's third down. Kaepernick now to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Here's Corey Bohorquez now to punt this one away. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and ten. So here are the Cowboys to take over. They were victorious over the Chargers last week, and now they work with a lead again here as they come up first and ten. Dances by him. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. They go back to Pollard on second down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch take the hit and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. His throw incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on fourth. The Cowboys will go. Prescott. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Fourth down, no problem. Just a ho-hum pickup of 14 to keep the offense on the field. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. As he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. 49 yards rushing for him now to this point. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football. In that situation, that's almost a tendency breaker. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. They'll run on first down. Collar, he is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Second down and eight. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now, we'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Here's Prescott. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. And Zerline's kick is good. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. 
And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. Kaepernick going to throw. He'll get this out wide to Scott. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. And he'll get this underneath to Scott. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. A first and 10 here. And, you know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. And he's going to go down. It's a sack on Kaepernick. Will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. To throw, Kaepernick. He'll find the Heisman Trophy winner, Devontae Smith. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 17 yards on the play as they try to eat into this 17 point deficit. Here's second and 10. Working from the gun, it's Kaepernick. It's complete to Golden Tate. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Jordan Lewis right there on the coverage. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. So we have come to halftime here in Dallas with the Cowboys out in front. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports halftime. And we will skip the highlight show this week. Get right back to this week three matchup. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first. And they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big. You're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. On first and 10, here's Kaepernick. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Three yards the game there, second down. They'll run with Scott. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? To throw, Kaepernick. He'll get this complete to Jalen Rager. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A nice pickup of 10 means that this drive will stay on track. From midfield, here's Kaepernick. He's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They look like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Jalen Smith, the Notre Dame man, in on the tackle. 
From the gun, it's Kaepernick. Throw left side, complete to Scott. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really on to something there in this passing game. It just can't get off the ground. And that play, it wound up losing yardage. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 12 yards on third down as the drive rolls on. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Now Scott. And he'll go down here at the 12 yard line. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. They go again with Scott, and this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Here's Kaepernick. Steps away to his left, and he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Colin Kaepernick, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Eagles are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. So that one a long 11-play drive, and it was capped off by a 12-yard touchdown run. The Eagle kick team out there now as they run up and send this one away. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. This one will come out to the 25 as Pollard is going to elect not to return it. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You could say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime and sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. They go back to Pollard on second down. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as he gets it up past the 35. 78 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. On first down, Pollard. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. On second down, Pollard. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Seven yards there and a first down. They run the counter. Pollard, despite the strong run, he'll be hit and dropped shy of the 45. Eric Wilson able to make the tackle. Now a second down and six. They'll run left with Pollard. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. Well, partner, Marvin, our number one stats guy, just handed me a little card that says he has 97 yards on the ground today. You think he's going to get the ball again? I think so. Three away from that century mark, got to have it. Yeah, and I think what they're going to call is one of his favorite runs, whatever he feels comfortable with, and what the offensive line has executed well today to try and get him over 100 yards. It's a pickup of four, but they're still a yard short here with fourth down, fourth coming. They'll try and run for it. And he's not going to get there. Might have even lost a yard. He only needed a yard, but he couldn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And the Eagles defense able to hold. And I am not sure, partner, there what the mindset was to go for it. I don't know. But some teams just feel that possession is the key to everything. They just want to have the football in their hands. No matter how it goes to the other team, they just don't trust doing that. So they say, let's go for it and try and finish it ourselves. 
Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. A tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays. Harder to move it. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh shot of downs. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Kaepernick. He delivers another to Goddard complete. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Kind of a fine line when you're setting up the screen. You don't want to throw it too early to have the defense react too quickly. And you definitely don't want to throw it too late. And that way, it's not formed perfectly. Got to make sure you hit it just right. Now left side on the swing pass. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. This take it in at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see him take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Here's Pollard again. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he is not going to get the first down as he'll spot this at about the 28. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. That one, a backbreaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. give here to Pollard. Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. But he has been a workhorse for them in this game. And ball security hasn't been an issue. And I believe the referee's been buzzed. Yeah, they want to take another look at this call. And it's certainly a big one here late in a tight game. 
the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he'll have a first down to the 45, but the tackle comes inbounds. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And it was a bit of a strange game. They were held scoreless through the entire second half, but their first half output, that's enough to carry them to victory. And that's an odd game to watch, isn't it? Because when we saw the output in the first half, you think to yourself, okay, they've got something working here. They know what they're doing. They'll continue that along. But instead, it's goose eggs in the second half. Fortunately, enough of a cushion and enough defense to carry them home. So for the Cowboys, it's back-to-back -back victories now after the week one defeat as they move to two and one. And they'll have another home date next week as the Carolina Panthers come to town. Meanwhile, for Philadelphia, they'll fall to one and two.